Hello and welcome to another episode with TMR Chair Chat. This time we are at Shays Buffalo where the Lion King is on tour. And we are so very lucky to be here with a couple of the actors to tell us all the ins and outs. I am here with one of my amazing actors who I get to dress throughout the entire show. So why don't you tell us your name, where you're from, and what you do? Oh, hey guys. Uh, my name is Tabani Butelezi. Uh, I'm from Durban, South Africa. Uh, I'm the low antelope in the show. Yeah. He makes it sound so easy, but this guy, I tell you, is high energy the entire time, does not stop. So, Tabani, tell me, did you always want to be an actor? Did you know you always wanted to perform? Not really, actually, until 2008. You know, it was kind of like, the way it happened, it was funny, because all I wanted to do was play, I mean, I'm, I'm good, I'm a good soccer player. Yeah. You know, I played soccer for a long time, and up until uh, a certain time where everything just changed, and I all of a sudden, I just went to an audition because I was looking for a job, and the job I got was to perform, and I had to just, you know, jump on it, and, it, and I did it. That's and amazing. And that's just how it came about. Before, I was not singing, I was not dancing, so <laughs> I was just playing soccer every day. That's amazing. Yeah. And so tell me then, is this the first show that you've ever been in, or have you done other shows before? Oh, I've done other shows. I've, I've done a few, a few, yeah. The first one I started with was it's called Africa Omoja, the spirit of togetherness. And then the second one is Africa Africa, that's the second big one. And then the third is uh, The Lion King. But this, there was a lot of shows that I did, you know, right in the middle of all of them. You know, small shows, which were really great. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And so, for The Lion King, Yeah. For all of our viewers at home, right. when was the first time you ever saw Lion King, the movie? Oh, well, that was, this was, <laughs> it's funny because I was telling you about it. <laughs> it's so funny. I actually saw it last year. That was the first time I saw it. And now he's one of our primary soloists in the yes. show. Yeah. Which is amazing. And the funny thing is I've been in the company for the last two, I've been in the company for the last three years, but I only just get to see the show last year. Like on TV, oh. like to see the, the cartoon. Yeah. yeah. Just oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so crazy. Mm -hmm. If you said to somebody uh, one really cool fact about Lion King, the Broadway production, mm -hmm. what's one cool fact that you would tell somebody? The one cool fact about it is that um, you get to meet all these amazing people from all over the world. So that's just one thing that I really enjoy, meeting these people from uh, different uh, countries and different cultures. It's just amazing. For me, that's just what I appreciate the that's most. That's so cool. Yeah. So you've been with the show for three years. Yes. And you've been traveling a lot. A lot. So what kind of, like, where have you gone in the world? You're from South Africa. Yes. But where else have you been? Oh, okay. I've been to uh, France. I've been to Spain. I've been to Belgium. Been to Luxembourg, been to Australia, been to London, oh England, my gosh. Uh, Germany, of course, because that's where I was for the last three years with the company before I came here. And I've been to uh, where else have I been? Where? I'll tell you right now. Woo! Where? They were in Maryland before here mm -hmm. and Maryland, Syracuse. And Syracuse. So it's just, I've been to a lot of countries. A lot of countries, a lot yeah. of places, and you're not done yet. Yeah. Still a lot of places to go and oh, yeah. things to see. Oh, uh, things to see and just, yeah, a lot of places to go for real. That's awesome. Still young, I just want to see a whole, you know, everything. I want to see everything in the whole world. That's amazing. Yeah. So, okay, so for people wondering, what is one thing that you would tell somebody about South Africa that you want everybody to know? Um, so culturally or Culturally, you know, culturally, it's just amazing because you get to learn about South African culture and also you just get to understand because there's this uh, during times of apartheid, which is one of the, which is one interesting thing that you would want to, you would want to learn about when you go to South Africa. There's quite a lot to learn about, just apartheid, apartheid time and how we just overcame all of that and you know, just, just how it's cultures and just how everything went with the whites, the white people when they came to our country and what happened and how we all overcame all of that yeah. and how things are right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's just one thing you really would want to know that's when amazing. you go to South Africa. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Well, guys, we don't want to take up any more of Tabani's precious time because he is a very busy actor. 
So I hope you really enjoyed this. I know I did, and I'm so honored to have met you and get to costume yourself throughout the show. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm honored to have met you. You're <laughs> such an amazing person. You know, it's always, it's always nice talking to you yeah. and you helping me out all the time. It's, it's really great. Just enjoy, uh, uh, you know, just get to know people. Yeah. That's my, that's, that's just me in my life. That's so I awesome. I like that a lot. Well guys, this has been Tabani, and he is one of our primary soloists as an antelope in yes. Disney's The Lion King. Bam, that's me. Peace, we out. Hi guys, my name is Ntanta Ndovu. I'm from Durban, South Africa, and um, I play the role of uh, principal singer or primary singer, and my, my animal uh, <laughs> is uh, antelope, and that's what I do in the show. Great to be here, great to be here. Thanks for taking some time out to hang out with us for a few minutes. I know you're super busy. If you guys have ever seen the show, this guy is in and out off stage all the time. Primary antelope, but he gets to do a lot of other really cool stuff. I'm gonna start with, what is the best thing about your job? What do you, what do you love coming to work for every day? Um, it, it's interesting actually. Um, I used to work a different job before this in an office, very formal and everything. But uh, it's funny now when I call my friends and they're like, so how are you finding it in your new world, in your new job? And what I usually say is, um, you know, I get to play dress up every day and get paid. And let alone sing, which is, you know, my life really. You know, and to give life to other people, you know, who come into these theaters every day and, and you know, come to see and come to have a good time. So the coolest thing, the best thing about my job is that I feel free to be myself and I get to be paid for it. Fantastic. That is a great <laughs> job. I would love to have that job. <laughs> uh, not as much talent as you, though. <laughs> Stop. Um, so you mentioned you had an office job. How did yeah. you tra how did you transition from office job yeah. to superstar in The Lion King? <laughs> how does that happen? Hey, come on now. I don't know about superstar, but okay, I'll take that. <laughs> um, so I used to be in an office before, which was crazy because I'm I have crazy energy, and my work colleague here, Tabani, I have so much fun with him because I feel like you know I see a piece of myself in him. Um, and so in an office job, you know, I was qualified. I, I, that's what I studied for. I was a civil engineer before. And it was fun because, you know, that's what I did. And, but I just always loved singing. So there was a time where Disney actually came to South Africa to audition, you know, some of, um, you know, the new talent that they were looking for. Because in each and every production in The Lion King, there's South Africans in, in the show to make sure that the languages and, and the, the movements and you know the traditional dances that we have in the show are kept and preserved to be as authentic as possible. So when they came through for that, you know, I went to audition and you know it was just a chance thing really. I got there, I sang, and a man called Clement Ismail, who was one of the recruiters. I mean, I guess he was interested and invested in me, and that's where I am today in the Lion King America, which is really, really a prestigious position to be in. And I'm enjoying myself from the office to a stage like that. For me, that's everything. That's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. So the Lion King, is this, this is the <clears throat> first production you've been in, or have you been on other shows before? It's quite interesting because um, I get that question a lot especially when I have to write my CV or like my bio, I have nothing to put down. It's like um, bridges, roads, dams, yeah, that's it. And they're like, and the singing, I'm, I have no idea um, what to put up there. So this is my first show, but I didn't even feel that strange feeling of being in a new world, which was quite amazing for me because, you know, I just felt right at home, which was quite interesting, you know. I respect people who, you know, who study in the field from you know, an, an educated point of view of this, but I was just so glad to try this new thing, and this was my first show, of course, and, and it worked out perfectly. Excited still, almost every day, to get on that stage. And I say almost every day because sometimes we're really, really tired, <laughs> you know, just like everyone else. But you know, as soon as you put my hat on, as soon as I put, I have my sticks in my hand and I'm ready to go, you know, nothing can stop me at that time, which is really a blessing to do every day.
It is. It's so amazing to get to see these guys do that. Um, just so that you guys at home know, uh, usually they're performing six days a week, and sometimes it's two shows a day. So that's a lot of performing. It's a lot, a lot of work. Um, but you know, this is another interesting thing that I love about my job now is that because um, it's passion, it you know you almost don't feel that you're working. So even if it's eight hours a day, you know, um, eight eight shows a week. I'm sorry, and about three or four hours uh, per per show. You know, including preparation and performance time and the intermission, all those times. It's just it's so great because it makes me feel that. I'm giving of myself, of my talents, of my time, and um, and just getting compensated for that. For the first time ever, I feel that I'm being compensated instead of being paid, which is really an amazing thing for me, and I appreciate that a lot about my job. From South Africa to here in Buffalo, yeah. <laughs> that's quite the distance to travel, mm -hmm. and there's probably a whole bunch of cities in between. Mm -hmm. So what's life on the road like? Um, I mean, I'm sometimes very philosophical about a lot of things, so I'm just going to start about the fun part where I get to see a lot of uh, cities um, in America. This is my first time actually living in America. I've heard of it. I came in July for fitting, so I saw a little bit of New York City. That was exciting. You know, I really love to explore and see all these beautiful places. Um, I just borrowed a friend's camera actually to snap away and get some few pictures of Buffalo, the snow. I went to Niagara Falls, which is fantastic. It's frozen now, so I would have wanted to go back there, but I don't know if I'll make it back. <laughs> I think I'll just freeze to death there. It's crazy. Um, so I, there's really that fun element, you know, to just to see these things and to see all these people and mingle and meet new people, which is really, really amazing. But what, what I've also learned just being on the road is that, you know, you know exactly who you are when you're on the road because you meet so much newness, new personalities, new environments. And so you become yourself in those new environments, which sometimes requires you to know who you are or sometimes to find out who you are. So that for me has been really an amazing experience because, you know, I, I, I would even need to know, do I like wings or do I like pasta? Because as soon as I get to a new city, I need to decide what I'm going to eat. Am I going to Whole Foods? Am I going to, you know what I mean? So, Wagmans. Oh, Wagmans. I love Wagmans. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and, and so it's a whole thing. Also, because there's limited space in your suitcase, I have two suitcases, a bag, and a backpack. That's all I get to travel with. That's my whole life wow. in two suitcases, one bag, and a trunk that I can pack everything. So, for instance, I'll give you an example. Uh, I met a young kid here in the show. I took him backstage. We had a tour. He loved it. And he sent me this beautiful picture of me and him that we took with a cell phone. And I really didn't know it meant so much to him. He framed it for me and he gave, him, uh, he gave me as a present, which I enjoyed so much. But right away I'm faced with a space issue because I don't know how am I going to travel city to city with such a big photo. I meet great people, I meet dressers, I meet uh, stagehands, I meet people at front of house that I really enjoy being around and really see how great it is to just just meet new people and, and, and you know and see life in a different way from the experience and your experience with them. You, so, you, you know so th that's also part of what it is on the road but the space now I'm gonna say in my heart in my soul, in my head, to know that you're gonna have this person for about one month and that's all you have. And whatever stays there becomes your legacy. Whatever is the memory that that person will have of you becomes who you are for the rest of your life to them. You know, there's new technology right now with your Skype and your video calling and all these things, but that is why I try as fine, to the best of my ability, to give fully of myself every time wherever I am with the people around me because that is all I have and only when you're on the road and of course through other experiences in life would you ever learn that very important lesson and so for me it's really been amazing in many different ways but also it's been amazing in knowing that I need to know who I am give fully of myself everywhere I am with no limitations because one thing I've learned is that the only time we have is right now the only time you have is the moment. Sometimes you can't even capture it like we're doing right now, which is great. But the only time we have is now. And, and so that has really opened a totally different part of my life that I think I owe it to the road.
Wow. Excellent. Ugh. One at a time, hopefully, they'll travel from here to here. You're going to have to do that again. I'll do it again, slow motion, this time without the sleeves. So one and two, just like this. Can you do it one yeah. more time? It's very one. interesting. Here, you take that one. Watch the last one, because there's one, two. This one's going to travel over there, but it doesn't happen yet. It's actually when you throw it and catch it. That's one, two, and there's the third. But you can't watch all three, so we get rid of one. Now there's two. You can watch one with each eye. Ooh, maybe not. You go cross eye one at a time. Here you watch. Second one's even more amazing because you just throw it. It almost happens. What is going on? <laughs> now the last one again. You can't watch two coins because you have two eyes. You might go cross-eyed. The eyes might be in the back of your head. Who knows? Mm -hmm. So watch. Last one. Roll the sleeves all the way up. Because if I just squeeze it, it's gone until you bring it back. <laughs> okay. Suspend it in midair. Grab it. You wave your hand and it comes right back. You drop it inside. It's gone until it comes right. Here, do me a favor, put out your hand. Just here, yeah, yeah. What, right, on. right, right through and inside. Seriously, here, no, no, turn it over. Just watch, just like that. Oh my god, okay, that's, that's, oh, uh, oh, you don't have to do that again. I don't oh, feel safe. I that's need that's a, amazing. I need a walk. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. What else are you going to do? Take my car oh, keys? Oh. oh, no, of course yeah. not. We're here for fun, man. <laughs> We're here right. just having fun. Yeah, yeah. So much that's fun. No, no, not a problem. I just want to see the magic, man. Well, and what's interesting, there's like little scratches on it. You see little marks and abrasions. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, you know how they're trying to use like stem cells to try to clone organs? Yes. So we're going to try to actually clone this coin using my stem cells. Now it is a bit of imagination here, but if we just do that, just right. And you see, that's not two coins. That's one coin in two places because they have the same scratches. Here, check that out. Same marks. Watch, we'll do this again. Some more stem cells. Again, using some imagination. Come on, man. And check that out. That's a solid, yeah. I can't even, I can't even. Yeah, it's crazy. And this is the craziest part, even today. Science isn't an exact science. I know, it's disgusting. <laughs> I don't get it. Things break, computers crash, phones even break. Mm -hmm. Sometimes nice. things just go wrong, and that's why they are theories until they're proven as fact. Two coins. No sleeves. Yeah, I know. I just check want it out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. I know. It's, it's the strangest thing. They got the queen mother on the front. And now I'm going to do the second one at the. Uh, here, you come in close, you're gonna to wanna to see this. I'm gonna to try to do it at the fingertips so you can see everything. Just as I shake my hand, it almost as if they combined again as one. I know, it's like magic in the palm of your hand. <laughs> it's, you know I'm what's gonna shoot it. Is you take it, you squeeze it, and it actually goes away until you bring it back. And that's why I like magic. Magic, life is magic. So many things are unexplained. And like you were saying, we have to be in these moments to understand who we are in order to project them onto others. So that's why I have the, show, Man. The, the show you guys gave was, You're killing me. was amazing. You're killing me. Come on I have now. a friend of mine who will call so much bullshit at this, but no, it has, is. have nothing to say because it's right in front of his that's, eyes. And that's why magic, you know, like you were saying with technology, so many things want to be explained. You want to go on YouTube and look at the ant, but just, it's amazing. Just take it for what it is. It's magic. It's okay. unexplainable. Yes, it's unexplainable. Yes, there is sir. an explanation, but is there really? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap on another TMR chair chat. And we are so, so grateful and thankful to have you guys here and talking with us and to have Disney's The Lion King here in town so that we could do this. So if you have it coming to your city, make sure you get your tickets. You can find it right online. We'll drop a link below. And thanks for hanging out with us. TMRproductionstudios.com. Salute. <laughs>